In this video, I will be giving you a great tip that can be easily incorporated in daily activities and routines and will help you memorize useful verbs and vocabulary associated to them. I have several videos with other great tips if you want to check them out as well. I'll leave the link in the description below. Many students mention that they have a harder time memorizing verbs than memorizing nouns. One of the reasons is that you can associate a noun to an object or an image, making it more visual, while with verbs you really have to practice situations, so not so easy to have a visual reference. So what is the secret? It's very simple and easy. Writing lists. It might sound a bit boring, but writing basic, simple lists will help you succeed in learning how to use verbs. Before we dive in, I wanted to give you an update on my book club. I'm so excited to share that my first edition in March went very well. Thank you so much to all that participated. My second book club will be in May with the book A Menina do Mar from the Portuguese author Sofia de Melo Breiner Anderson. I want to continue focusing on Portuguese authors. I will be talking more about the book club next week but if you are interested in participating, feel free to reach out through my website. E agora, vamos começar! Writing and saying words out loud are a great way to memorize things. Lists are a great way to organize your day and start thinking your actions in Portuguese. You can also organize your lists by themes or topics like pessoal, crianças, animais de estimação, trabalho. I made a list, lista, of things that I believe can help you start writing your own. The beauty of lists is that you write the verbs mostly in the infinitive, so you can easily learn their meanings and then slowly start conjugating them in your daily life. Let me walk you through my list. Lista de afazeres. Comprar umas calças novas. Ir ao supermercado. Levantar dinheiro da minha conta. Pagar a renda. Fazer a cama. Lavar a roupa e a loiça. Passear o cão. Escrever um e-mail ao meu primo. Inscrever-me no ginásio. Enviar uma encomenda nos correios. Responder à mensagem da Ana. Telefonar ao meu pai. Ver um filme hoje à noite. Ler o jornal. Marcar uma consulta no dentista. Trabalhar no meu novo projeto. Almoçar com o meu cliente. Estudar português. Tocar piano durante meia hora. Levar o cão ao veterinário. Dizer ao João para me trazer pão. Pôr a bicicleta na garagem. Pedir ao Rui para me arranjar o computador. Regar as plantas. Fazer uma cesta depois do almoço. Ir às compras para a festa. Fazer um bolo para o piquenique. 
you can start with simple sentences and slowly add more vocabulary to them. For example, pendurar os quadros or a bit more detailed, pendurar os quadros na parede da sala. At the top of your list, you can add the day in Portuguese. Por exemplo, no dia 22 de abril, you may want to consider adding the parts of your day to your list as well. De manhã, à tarde, à noite. Also, adding information about sequence can be useful, such as antes de, depois de, primeiro, por fim. You can also use your list as a master document to then write a Portuguese journal about your day using the present tense or to practice the past tenses if you want to write about what you did yesterday. I hope you will start incorporating this habit in your study routines. If you enjoy my content, remember to subscribe and leave me a comment. Até para a semana!